Yeah. Bro, T. No, I love it, man. I love comedy. Yeah. You know, it's it's the greatest gig in the world. You know, you get on stage and you get to make people laugh and feel mm -hmm. better. You know, it's yeah. like, like, you know, there's a lot of people that come after the show and they go, dude, I had a fucked up day and you made me feel so much better. Yeah. I'm laughing my ass off, my stomach hurts. <laughs> That's the greatest gig in the world, man. You're making people feel better. It's changing uh -huh. the way, their physical state, you know. It's a good point. It's, it's have, awesome. Have you ever been on, because you have like two shows, you know what I mean? So yeah. has ever been like the, the early show and you had too many beers by the late show? Like, you don't even remember yeah, what I the did. hell you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, but I'll ask. I don't give a fuck. Are you sure I was funny? <laughs> I go, don't fuck with me. Did I do this? <laughs> because you you do get a little crazy. Yeah. Like, like you will push, like, a gay issue. Yeah. But then, like, it's funny because, like, when you talk about, like, the movie Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, is there ever been, like, a guy, like, be like, yo, you're taking it too far? And yeah, then yeah. Like, I got a guy come up to me in L.A. He goes, I thought you were really funny until you tell the gay jokes. I go, that's because you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> talking about so funny. Do you hear all these people laughing? What, it's a special? I gotta make yeah. special jokes for Because one gay you, guy man. is in the audience, you're not gonna change your yeah, whole damn routine to you know, compliment one dude. That's ridiculous. That dude needs to just fucking get his shit together. I do it, there's a, 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 if you go to my MySpace page, uh -huh. myspace.com slash talking monkey. Mm -hmm. Or myspace.com slash Joe Rogan will take you there. Mm -hmm. But I had to buy that. Some other dude had oh, really? so I had to oh. buy his MySpace. <laughs> what a dick, but I have huh? a new video that Brian, my, my friend Brian, just put up uh, last night, a new Brokeback Mountain clip. So you can see oh, that no. bit. Oh, <laughs> see, and, and I think that's hilarious. And the best thing I like about you, too, when you do UFC fighting, like I understand you're, you're, uh, you do jiu-jitsu, right? Brazilian yeah, yeah, jiu-jitsu. Yeah. I think it's just funny, like the way like some guy would do some roundhouse kick that I've never heard of before. You say what the kick is, but then you're like, oh, shit. And then like the guy gets knocked the hell out. You know what I mean? He's laying on the ground and then like you bring like a little comedy flavor to it but you do know you're very knowledgeable about the sport but it's just funny because if, if anybody hit me like that i would die but i mean <laughs> someone gets hit like that and you're like oh the flip roundhouse 2008 <laughs> remix version of the kid you know like well i try to be as respectful as possible so i try not to do too much comedy i try to take it very seriously because you know look it doesn't need comedy it's a crazy exciting sport you know mm -hmm. but every now and then something has to be said well, well speaking of that did, did you ever follow dennis miller on uh monday night football or no no. Okay, because no, he didn't. put a lot of jokes in there, so that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe... I think when he did it, I heard a lot of people complaining that he was like trying to like to be force funny, jokes right. in. I don't try to force shit, no. you know, especially with the UFC. UFC, look, it's all about my job is literally just to explain what's happening for people who don't understand the ground game. Uh -huh. That's the most complicated. Everybody understands a kick in the head or a punch in the uh -huh. face. That seems pretty self-explanatory, but unless you know jujitsu. It's not. It's not possible to do the commentary on the ground because there's there's so many transitions. There's so many like when a guy gets into a certain position, I'm gonna say, okay, what well, he's got to look. You got to look out for his left arm. As soon as he traps that left arm, he's gonna throw his left leg over. And I'm explaining to people so they can follow it at home because otherwise it looks gay. Yeah, <laughs> I, was just, I know. I'm just yeah, gonna say, say it. Even you describing it, sounds kind of gay. Does, like, like, right. Right. You got two very masculine men yeah. in speedos <laughs> grabbing each other. I mean, and... look, the mount closely resembles titty fucking. You gotta, you gotta look at what that is. <laughs> And, you know, it's very clear to explain, no, this guy's trying to hurt that guy, you know, and that so, is not a boner, that is a cup, yeah. okay, that's to protect his shit. So a lot of gay men, you're saying, watch UFC for different a reasons than we guys watch it, huh? love the UFC, man. Uh, a lot of gay guys love the UFC. That, that is true. All right, well, true. let's change subjects here, bro. Uh, yeah, I got uncomfortable in the room. Yeah, I got, you know, uh, I open a window. Yeah, no, no. Let's talk about, like, hot chicks. Who do you want to go with, dude? All of them, man. I don't want in that girl. But you did, you did make fun of Paris Hilton on one of your themes where, uh, you were what you said you were watching the porn movie and uh, you got mad at her because when she was given a BJ she went and answered her cell phone. Yeah, that's ridiculous. So I got a bitch in the head. It's, that's why God created that's voice man. I, I walk out. That's when I walk out. I zip up and get the fuck out of the room. Dude, hey, be real though. Be real. Be real. Though. real. Girls blowing me and the phone rings and she gets up and leaves and I go, what the fuck am I doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck my sock. I'm gonna take my sock off and I'm gonna fuck that. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, it's like, it's like a girl giving you a hand job, man. you're just gonna go home and do it yourself, right? Well I would say the girl giving you a hand job was like trying to brush your teeth with your left hand. <laughs> I'm lefty, I'm lefty. Well, then try it with your right hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, the dominant hand. Is my right hand, I know where all the teeth are. My left hand, I don't even know how to find my mouth. Steady, and then I gotta move my mouth over to the toothbrush. Hey, that's that's why I have the electric toothbrush. I probably should have said though. that, right? Hey, more of those too, man. More of these kind of jokes at the improv tonight, man. We're film all going down. Improv.com, 847-240-2001. Five shows. Joe Rogan, just as funny as I thought you'd be. We're going this weekend to see you, bro. Sweet man. Never, thank never you very cease much, to. Dude. And thank you very much for being here with thank Styles and Roman. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah.